I don't know, what's your favorite room in your house? I guess that's a weird question. I think they're all my favorite rooms because I can have a life in each one of them. And I couldn't have a life when I was out there. After a year of homelessness, Laura Curtis is thrilled to have a place she can call her own. But life on the street at that time was surprisingly an easy choice to make. I don't seem to have much success in relationships. My last relationship ended in a domestic dispute and I had to um, face the fact that I wasn't given too many choices other than to leave because I wasn't going to be the girl that stayed. From friends' couches to sleepless nights at local shelters, Curtis did what she could to stay warm and fed. That's until she found support through E4C's shelter exit team. They helped by uh, paying a damage deposit, a rent, utility hookups, a starter kit with groceries, dishes, vacuum cleaner, household cleaning products. We try and help them um, with housing so that um, they're able to kind of continue on with their life and, you know, achieve their goals. A fresh start Curtis found yeah. hard to embrace. It, right? Gotta say, knowing that I, like, it took me a couple of weeks to, to really trust that this is mine. And so I'm trying to make every room my favorite room. Like, my kitchen has red curtains and I put butterflies all over them. As for her future, it's one Curtis can already see clearly. Light in motion. So as it paints itself, it leaves a trail. I always loved photography, and I took training in school, and I'm taking more training that uh, I've been gifted with this winter. The thing I really like about these is they're all subject to interpretation. Anything that you see in these, somebody else will see something else. Uh, some interesting, interesting Im images come up. Putting her newfound talents to work, Curtis has also decided to give back, donating 50% of proceeds from her photos to E4C. I want to be supportive and I want to give back because I feel that I would probably be in far, far worse straits if I hadn't received the help when I did. It was timely and it was swift. If you would like to see more of Curtis's work, head to her Facebook page at Curtis Photography. For Shaw TV, I'm Brianne McLaughlin.